You'll never guess where I'm at. I am. Um, I just released one Chinook about 15 minutes ago, same size as this hatchery coho. Have you ever seen that point back there behind me? morning again. See these birds, they eat the bait. Which one is the bait right in the middle? The misfits of the Puget Sound. There's actually a good population around here. There's a big rockfish. I'm not targeting these, but this is what bit my line. Uh, I think that's a quillback or a copper. Um, I'm gonna go with quillback, but it might be a copper. As soon as they open their mouth, then you can get them. This would be definitely. Look at all this. He's flaring up his gills, everything. He doesn't like being caught. That's alright. I'm not keeping the little rock. Any rockfish. What we got here. He's trying to get out of my net. Hatchery coho. Hey, you know that spot. Oh, he's all twisted in the net. That happens. No fin there, that means it's hatchery. All right, I'm gonna film this because I kind of suggested this spot for somebody to get their first salmon. But you gotta be able to deal with the uh, constant barrage of waves that come off boats. So like this boat here, that's a, that's a decent sized lake. Um, and you just gotta deal with it part of the game so if you come out on a weekend there's gonna be even more traffic so you want to come out when there's less traffic and what you do is if you feel like uh, the wave might be kind of a risk to you just put your bow at it 
can go right in. I'll just film this if my battery doesn't die. I don't know what it's like. But sometimes they'll, they'll have some pretty large boats that be far away. Oh, that's King. <laughs>